Welcome lads, so this video will be uncovering the truth behind Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now some things before we get into it, my nose has a blockade so I sound extremely nasally. If you are new subscribe and then the last thing, if you could help promote this video, get more exposure on this video, uh, please you know like post to reddit or something, wink wink. The other day I realised something large, something big that no one is really talking about. I was surfing the Black Ops 4 Reddit the other day, where someone was comparing the multiplayer menus from Black Ops 3 versus Black Ops 4, saying that the Black Ops 3 menu had your specialist, an animated background, your character would blink and fiddle around with their weapon, while in Black Ops 4 the menu is just a boring black background with a camera panning over a still image, if you like, of your character. How could something so simple like a menu take so many steps backwards? Christ, I'm listening to myself while recording this video and I do apologise, I sound so bad but I am ill. So yeah, after all that, it clicked in my mind, like a, like a flashback, like an epiphany. All the rumours and the leaks before Black Ops 4 was even announced, even revealed, came back to my mind. Surely you recognise what I'm talking about. The rumours that Black Ops 4 and Treyarch were in disarray. Activision had cancelled their campaign. Zombies people, the developers, wanted to leave because the project was not going correctly. And that's, that's not even the worst of it. The multiplayer didn't even resemble Call of Duty, it was more like Overwatch or Lawbreakers. Now yes, that leak did come from Matt Harris, you know the unibrow dude, and yes, this guy did admit to faking, making up some information. Let me say that again for you, some information. And then the pieces started to fit together in my head. I remembered another leak, which I can tell you just how, or I could prove to you, just how accurate this leak is and it does link in with the Matt Harris leak. So I watched a video from Glitching Queen. She had this information apparently from some randomer who emailed her saying that he had play tested, he had played the alpha or a beta, well, I don't know, some early version of Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Now bear in mind this leak, both of these leaks come from before we had even seen trailers or images or gameplay. And this leaker who apparently played, played a map with a church and some tanks, played another map with a beach, a bridge and two vantage points. Guys that's seaside and contraband. Not only that he said there are med kits. Guess what? Yes you can heal yourself. Another thing he said is that specialists are back and play a bigger role than ever before and one of them has a grappling hook. Guys. Do do you really think some randomer, some troll, managed to get this accurate information or just make this up and get lucky? No, of course not. This is a legitimate leak from someone who played an early version of multiplayer before we had even seen anything. Now to link this obviously real leak to the Matt Harris leak and show you just how real this situation is, they both share the same information where at some point, streaks and perks were not like Call of Duty. Apparently, in this newer version from the very real leak, specialists had different streaks attached to that specialist. Then an earlier leak said that there weren't perks, there weren't score streaks. In fact, they were kind of mixed into one role, where it was like, if you went on a streak you would earn powerful abilities, and um, what, what are these abilities you might earn? Advanced movement? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, well, this is another leak that's been talked about so much. At some point, Black Ops 4 multiplayer was boots on the ground and advanced movement at the same time. And one of the ways that you obtained this was basically a kill streak. And here's the thing. I've made a review video for Black Ops 4 multiplayer and so much people who don't like Black Ops 4 have literally searched for reviews, found my video, disliked the video, and just left a comment saying, this is the, the term that they all use, it's shid. 
That's just what they comment. Like, literally, like, 10 people have said that. The video has 25 dislikes. And I've seen that. You know, a lot of people don't like what Black Ops 4 is, especially multiplayer. You know, how it's different from Call of Duty, how... There's more health. In fact, the entire health system is changed. The specialist, for 5v5, just everything that this game is at its core. When we know at some point it was it was even less like Call of Duty. And don't get me wrong, I'm not hating. I love Black Ops 4. In fact, I still, to this day, like three weeks later, think that it's the best COD multiplayer since Black Ops 2. Yeah, it's the best of a new era. So this goes to show that this multiplayer right here that we play pretty much daily, I guess, the multiplayer I am saying is the best since Black Ops 2 was kind of not what Treyarch were going for. They had to backtrack. This multiplayer that we are playing in Black Ops 4 was probably made in like a year and a half. Uh, we don't ex we don't have an exact timeline of the events and the development, but what is clear is the development and the ideas of Black Ops 4 are all over the place. It's confusing. It's wrong. Treyarch were working on something very strange and ha had to rush on the final stretch to make it a Call of Duty. And I gotta say, to be honest, that's kind of worrying for guys. Treyarch, the development studio which the COD community has the most faith in, the guys who made World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, what they wanted, what they tried to make for this game, just sounds like a, a I'm, I don't know if I should say this on a YouTube video, but like a suicide mission. What were they, what were they going for here? No streaks and no perks, but powerful abilities that gave you advanced movement and it was a hero shoot, like, it's worrying to be honest. Imagine how different things would be if Treyarch just had a vision for this game and they worked on that vision for the entire three years instead of scrambling at the last minute. You know, like it's, what this game could have been, how different it could have been could be. So some of you might be asking the question, well, what would I do or what would you do, Phantom, if you were, if you had the power of God and if you were the main guy producing the ideas for Black Ops 4, what would you do for multiplayer? Simply put, I've talked about this before Black Ops 4 was even came out, what I was, what I wanted would be a game set between Black Ops 1 and 2, a straight up modern game with the best of those two games. But of course, new stuff. I would not have specialists or 5v5. I would not have changed the health system. I would have just taken what people love from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, but put it into a new game. So guys, I guess the message I'm getting across here is, the reason why the Black Ops 4 menus are so lacklustre, the reason why Black Ops 4 is so different from any Call of Duty, and maybe that's why some people out there don't like it, it's so different to anything we've ever had, is because... In the background, at some point, it was going to be even more different. The development was confusing all over the place, and Treyarch did not have a clear vision for what they were making, or if they did, what they made was not their own vision. So guys, what the hell was this? Stay spicy, and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully I'm not as nasally next time.